Hi developers, I'm Hossam Delay, Microsoft MVP. In this video, we'll learn how to use Poly in order to create a resilient client applications. We all know that the internet connectivity might go down on our devices for a few seconds, and if during this time our application is sending an HTTP request to the server, then it won't get data, the user won't see any data on his device, and that's a poor user experience. What we want to do in this case is to retry resending that HTTP request after two seconds. If yet we don't get any data, we want to retry again after four seconds. We retry after eight seconds and so on until we get that response from the server. So Poly here help us to implement or to use this retry policy, which is implemented in Poly, and we also can specify the amount of time to wait, to wait until the next retry. Poly also implements the circuit breaker pattern, which will help us to not overload the server in order to keep it running. So if the server is getting so much requests that he cannot handle, then our application will stop sending requests in order to keep the server running. Here, an open source project available on GitHub. You can look at the code. And here, Poly tries to solve those issues by providing some policies, like the retry policy, so you can call your web service again and again until you get a response or you can call it, uh, let's say, uh, just for five times. Poly also have some other policies for uh, like the circuit breaker, which will um, help you to not uh, overload your web server. It also implements the timeout policy to tell if we keep a retry until we um, until we reach, let's say, 30 seconds, for example. It also implements some other useful policies like cache, fallback, and policy wrap. To see how Poly works, here I have created an Azure uh, function right here. It's a web service that returns only a few data right here, three um, strings. So I try to call this web service from my Xamarin Forms application. For that, I move here to Visual Studio, where I have created a Xamarin Forms application, and they have implemented the resilient HTTP client, which uses a Poly project. Then from here, I do have my data service, where I call my web service using the HTTP client. Then I try to get that uh, response back to show it inside my user interface, which is here inside the products page. I try to uh, use this products that I get from my web service. In the factory, I have created a method for creating a resilient HTTP client and also creating policies. So here we have created this policy for waiting and retrying. So we'll say that for the HTTP request, we'll, if we don't have, if we don't succeed, then we'll wait for a few seconds and retry again. We'll retry for max number of six times. Then we'll wait for a number for an exponential uh, number right here is going to be uh, 2 above the number of uh, retries. So we we'll say we want to wait for 2 seconds, then we'll wait for 4 seconds, for 8 seconds, 16, and so on. So it's an exponential uh, waiting. So let's see how this works in summary. Let's try here to call our web service to get the data. And here, my device is connected to the internet. So if I, you see here, I have internet connection. But what if in this moment, my application is not connected? So I try to get out of connection. And here, I'll continue executing my application. 
so the call to the web service is done but here it, it does fails for that we get here an exception from poly and here we have the two values for the retry count which have the value here of one so we are trying for the first time and we have to wait for two seconds clicking continue here I don't have yet an internet uh, connection so let's here we don't have yet an internet connection for that it will retry again now after waiting for four seconds and this is the second time it retries let's continue we don't have yet internet connection so it will retry again until it reaches six times so now we have to wait eight seconds for the third retry what's if now we get back internet connection right here so let's get the data mobile data back and hit continue now you see that the call to the web service is done uh, successfully so let's take a look at the code of this uh, Xamarin Forms application right here. So what I have created here is a Xamarin Forms application that uses a standard library. Why I have used a standard library? Because here the latest version of Poly, which is the version V5, does only support standard class library. It doesn't use, uh, support PCL projects. For that here, I move it to a standard class library instead of PCL but if you want to use PCL then I have uh, implemented the solution for using PCL which is here we'll use the standard class uh, or the standard project and then it will pass the data to the uh, PCL project uh, using uh, interfaces so then here within the standard project we are creating uh, we have this factory that will create the resilient HTTP client with the uh, policies so this will create the client with the uh, policies and here we do have the resilient HTTP client which will um, get those policies and implement them inside the um, the crude operations or the methods for getting putting deleting and posting uh, requests so for each of those requests we'll apply the policies that we have created the policies for uh, retrying to connect if at any time we want to use the standard http client which comes from the uh, microsoft.net.http a NuGet package right here then you can use this class right here if you don't want to use the retry a policy in addition to creating the policy for waiting and retrying here we have added a new, another policy for implementing the circuit breaker uh, pattern which here will help you to not overload the server so if the server is getting lots of requests then it makes sense to wait for a little bit until sending the next request or just to stop sending the requests if the server is uh, suffering from lots of uh, requests so here we can specify the number of exceptions before breaking the circuit here I'm telling uh, just five times and then for every time I have to wait for a minute until the next uh, request. I have got the source code for this uh, resilient HTTP client uh, from the uh, project posted by Microsoft on GitHub, which is the eShop on containers, which implements those uh, policies and have uh, the source code that I showed you today. But if you want to take a look at the source code for this uh, particular app and that I have built here, you can go to my uh, GitHub repo right here and you will have the code for both implementing Poly with Xamarin Forms that uses st .NET standard uh, library and in PCL library. 
So I hope this video was helpful for you and thank you.